Hey guys, how's it going? It's Lady Fantastic here. It's 3.44 p.m. on Friday. Left work a little early today. Uh, glad the weekend's over, or the week's over, and the weekend is beginning, even though I don't have to go in. I culture sells, so, and they don't really, they don't really take off on weekends. They just keep freaking growing, y'all. Okay, so, I'll, honestly, I feel relieved that I got that first segment of the X-Men done. One, because it's just like, I told you I was going to do something and I needed to do it. And it was like, stressing me out. But two, I wanted to show you guys other stuff, and because it's not like... It's just X-Men, you know, and, and so basically I want to show you guys um, some of the stuff that's come in during the week or some of the stuff that I've picked up for comic book, new comic book day. Um, but before that, uh, yeah, before that actually, you know, I haven't said this in a minute, but for all of you guys that have subscribed and that watch and that like and that participate in the conversation, like, Thank you. Thank you. Um, and I'm glad that you find something um, amusing or worth watching uh, in some of these videos that I post. Uh, and yeah, and you guys be good to yourselves um, because it matters. Uh, now, uh, I want to do a little, a quick, I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Uh, I just have a few um, Volume 3 Doctor Strange books, but I want to show you now. And uh, here she blows. Number 1. And then it jumps to all the way to uh, 31, but I got the, um, the Doctor, the, the Infinity Doctor, the Infinity Doctor, the Infinity Gauntlet Doctor Strange stories are super good, and you guys should really check them out. I'm... I'm highly suggesting them. So that's 31. Uh, 32. Crossovers event. Uh, Infinity Gauntlet crossover events. 33. Um, 34. This is crazy. Doctor Doom, like, Dark Doom. He goes and he gets, like, mystic powers from these, like, Tibetan monks. I don't know. It's nuts. Um... Yeah, 34, 35, I really like that cover, um, yeah, Scarlet Witch, Thor, Strange, um, yeah, it's nice, uh, 36, we've got little Gamora right here, and old Adam, and then it jumps to my Infinity War crossover, and can't nobody deny that that is an epic Galactus shot. That's a really nice piece of work right there. Who did that? Isherwood? Isherwood? Um, I, yeah, I'm sorry if I'm bu butchering the name. Or maybe it's like I, like, my name's Ichabod Sherwood or something. I don't know. Um, you know, hey, I, I don't know everything. So, shocker. So this is, yeah, Infinity War crossover number 42. Number 43, that's another really beautiful, um, yeah, it's looking, maybe it's I, I Sherwood, uh, and if not, it's Isherwood, I say, I'm, I'm doing this poor man a disservice, and it's gonna end up being like a woman or something, so, yeah, I'm sorry for making assumptions, uh, yeah, 43, um, 44, so this is, like, the story of how, um, Juggernaut, uh, well, I don't know if it's... It's basically about the red jewel of Sidorak and how Sidorak's, like, contained within that jewel. Um, I'm not sure. I can't remember if it talks about how he comes across it or not, which I think he, like, finds it in a jungle or something. It's very Indiana Jonesy or something. Um, 45. That's a great cover. Uh, 46. 46. Oh, got doubles of it. And 47. Will the real Doctor Strange please stand up? And the great thing is, this was made before that stupid Eminem. Well, actually, the Eminem album, that's not a bad album. I shouldn't have said it's stupid. But, like, to me, it, com it pales in comparison to, like, will the real Doctor Strange please stand up? 
because woof, woof. You know why? He's cooler. All right. Now I'll show you my pickups. Well, not my pickups and just random things that I've either found or saw at the shop or whatever. I don't know. I found so new comic book day. Um, Thor 14, and Venom ends up becoming a god. is wild and crazy. Um, oh, yeah, I got this. Hold on just a second. In the mail for... Off eBay. So, T Teen Titans. Teen Titans and the Uncanny X-Men. Sorry, my brain is mush. Uh, <laughs> um, so, thank you for your patience. Ah, uh, here. So this is a one I had found in this fifty cent bin, but forgot to include. But it's silk num negative. Sorry, silk number twelve. And the reason why I was so excited about it was that it's she goes and has to find her. Like they have to go and um, explore, try to find their way out of the negative zone. And the negative zone has been around since like old school Fantastic Four days, like Nihilus. So, if you don't know about the negative zone, I would suggest that you read about it because it's a fascinating place um, where a big old meanie named Annihilus lives. If you want to call it living. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got that in the mail. Um, I had to. I have other political comics, and I'll need to show you guys those sometimes because they're pretty funny. Um, but dude, I had to get this, you know, I just, I'm not going to get into politics, but let's just say I had to get this and I had to get that. There's nothing political about that either. It's just magic. So yeah, black cat, um, first new outfit or something like that, but it's really pretty, um, uh, pretty cover. I like the, um, sequence of action, the Spider-Man's kind of jumping from the back of the comic to the front. And there's a little space playing with some space. One dollar, uh, True Believers and Mysterio, which I thought was really awesome. Um, I got this guy from Economics and Comics. Um, the cool thing about 169 is that there's, there is fan email from Frank Miller. He sends a letter to the editor. Yeah, so I'll have to get that out and read it for you guys sometime. So I had to had to get that. Um, this came in a big lot. I got like eleven different Spider-Man comics for like ten bucks, and this was one of them. Marvel Tales starring Spider-Man, and I think is this and it says special feature the origin of Captain Britain. So I don't know if it is a reprint of the first appearance of Captain Britain or not, because I haven't read it yet. Um, no, I'm a bad, I'm a bad fan. Uh, and I got Marvel Team Up, <laughs> Spider-Man and Frogman. This one right here has got, um, Rod the Reekin's name all over it. I'm sending that to, um, yeah, just a Reekin. This is for his little, uh, his team up run. And then I, it, I wanted to show this one cause I love the cover. I, I love that. It's Al, Al Milgram. Love that art. Love that art. Spidey's just gonna burst through the front of that cover because he's uh, holding on to Mjolnir for dear life. And then this was another part of that lot. What if Spider-Man's Uncle Ben had lived? Are you kidding me? That is a crazy good one. So, yeah. Was really excited about that. Alright. <clears throat> so, I actually found this in my comic... Comic in my closet randomly from, you know, a free comic book day of years past. And I was just like, hey, that's actually pretty cool. I'm going to bag and board it and show it. Because why not? If you got it, flaunt it. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. I got another one of these. I found it, for, found it for really cheap off eBay for like 10 bucks. Woo! Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, this is from a couple of weeks ago, but I don't think I've showed it to you. Um, Silver Surfer Black. Um, I'm glad I got a copy. Thankful. Um, Captain America. This is um, where they first find out that 
Sam Wilson's gonna be the new cap, number 25. So, I'm glad I finally got it. Um, I was really excited about this when this one dropped, Usagi Yojimbo. So, yeah, that was, woof. It's cool. That's just great. I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad that we've got things like this. I mean, yeah. Oh, uh, goon number three. Just good. It's just good. Goodness. Get it. Goon. Goon, y'all, goon. Um, I got this a couple of weeks ago, but I don't know if I showed it to you guys or not. But, um, yeah, it was the, uh, it's Batman 400, and there's got a, there's a crap ton of artists, and it's just a really cool book, and I'm, I'm happy to have it. Um, I found this for super cheap off of eBay, and it's Jack Kirby, and I love Jack Kirby, and it's the Sandman. Oh, oh, sorry, guys. Oh, man. It's a whew, lot of emotions. <laughs> it's like a uh, roller coaster of emotions showing you comics here. Um, also, I found Son of Dracula number one, Atlas Comics. I was too good to pass up. Oh, so good. So good. This is another one that I got from Economics and Comics, and I thought it was a steal. I got it from him for $14. Werewolf by Night, number one, signed by Roy Thomas and Jerry Conway. What? Dude. Ah! It's so cool. Oh. Oh, man. All right, all right. Then, um, I also got this. This was not from Economics, but it was um, at the comic shop. Here's the bubble thing. I love the bubbles. Bubbles. It's, I'm a simple person, I guess, you know? Bubbles. Bubbles, y'all. Bubbles. Um, this one was from Economics. This a uh, London... It's the London Bridge, Spidey Fights in London, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 95. So I thought that was just really nice, and I'm very proud to have it, and uh, I'll treat it with warmth and kindness. <laughs> then these, oh man, these are wild. So I found this off of eBay, $4.99. <laughs> I'm just like... Yeah, okay, no, nah. it's not in perfect condition, but um, it's nice enough for me. And from that same guy, this one was $10.99, Submariner number two. So now, you guys, I have Submariner two, three, four, seven, and then some later, 36 and 71. But anyways, okay, here's the last comic that I'm going to show you. And I found it today at the comic shop. It had just been put up there on the rack because I hadn't seen it on the wall before. Boom. You guys, they had it for $19.99. <laughs> I scooped it. I said, gimme. Give it to me, baby. So, yeah, um, those are all my comics. And, you know, uh, again, I hope you enjoyed the X-Men. I hope... You guys like this, and um, thanks, thank you, thanks for watching, and thanks for, you know, um, letting me be part of the crowd, uh, part of the group, um, part of uh, a, a unit of individuals that really uh, loves their their picture stories. Um, it's it's, good, it's a good feeling. So you guys take care. All right, bye.